it's hard. It's like, it's not sinking in. I'm just doing and packing. And I'm like, but what, what would I wear for this week? I mean, but nevertheless, it's getting done. And I know this would be a testimony of faith to help somebody out. See y'all. Today is the day I tell my coworker, the teacher that I work alongside, that I'm moving. How do I feel? I'm nervous, but I'm like I'm kind of just like ready to rip the bandaid off because I'm like God told me to move on. God told me that I would be leaving the week of the 24th. And that means this week is my last week. And it doesn't feel like it. It feels like, I don't know, it just feels like I'm here. I don't really feel like that sad about it. And I know I'm, I'm going to miss my students. It's just I don't feel that sadness that I was feeling before because I know everything will be fine but I think I was just worried to say anything in the beginning until I knew it was time to say something so when I get a chance to like sit down and talk with her that will be that um also doing some crocheting Hoping to crochet something for one of my students before tomorrow Friday. So that's all I have. Um, walk in faith. That's all I can do. Okay, y'all. This is a quick um, video. So I had the conversation with my teacher that I work with. Um, it really didn't make sense to her. And I have to be okay with that because explaining God's plan to someone who has not been revealed it is can seem very crazy and very etc. And her response was kind of like, you don't even have a plan, etc. Et and I just kept saying, God has a plan for me and I'm going to go wherever he wants me to go. Um, with that being said the conversation may occur tomorrow i just told her that i would be leaving soon i don't know what what the what that looks like but soon within this week or next week so and i don't want to say anything else from the conversation because i feel like yeah but i was trying to figure out how i'm getting there because i i obviously i just i still don't know I have all my stuff packed mostly for the majority part, but I don't know how I'm getting there, which was kind of like why well, I was kind of so anxious and on, on 10 because I didn't know how I'm getting there. Am I booking a flight, et cetera? Is he coming here? Da, 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 da. So I'm driving, but my car is old. I have a 2006 Sentra Nisa and it's very old and it's not going to make it to California so believe in God because he's getting me a new car and I don't got to stress about nothing else I just know I'm leaving within like the next couple of days and I'm just walking in faith and faith is scary and that's what I told my teacher. Faith is scary. I don't know what's going on. I just know that he gave me instructions and I'm following it. And I don't know every step of the plan, but he does. So 
tune back in with y'all on my journey across and faith. Hey, you guys. Um, so it is my last day at school. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. 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 I really can't believe it. Hello, you guys. Um, I just wanted to make a video about putting it down in faith. And today I went to Navy Federal to do some car financing because I need a new vehicle to go to California. And honestly, I had no idea of the process. And because of that, I just didn't know what I was doing. But the guy at Navy Federal took the time to like explain everything and break everything down so that I could have a better understanding understanding of it but why i titled this put it down in faith is because i didn't know what amount to put and i know that god doesn't want us to be in confusion with our decisions but i was kind of just like all over the place i didn't know what number to do and i didn't know anything but now that I have this whole revelation now, it's crazy. Um, so basically, I put the number, the amount down. And the revelation I just got confirmed that it was the right number because of what God showed me maybe a week ago. And it's just crazy how the Holy Spirit works. It's just, okay, all that to say, put it down in faith. Because God orders our steps. I'm sorry. God orders our steps and he knows exactly what we need. He knows what we're going to do beforehand, but also it requires us to walk in faith and doing so. I told the guy, I was like, I don't know. I'm just going to put it down in faith. And it's just a testimony because sometimes we have to continue put, putting it down at Jesus' feet, but walking away in faith, knowing that he's going to do it, knowing that he's going to provide because even on the car ride back, I was just like, oh, did I make the right decision? Oh, um, what if it wasn't the right number? What if I don't get approved, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But we have to put it down in faith. And sometimes that requires us to keep going back every second, every minute, maybe every hour. Because for me, my mind goes and wonders sometimes. It does a lot of overthinking and overanalyzing and, and processing everything. But... All that to say, my lips are really chapped. I'm sorry. <laughs> my chapstick is in the house. And, but all that to say, God literally wants you to walk in faith. Trust that he, he's built you with the knowledge and the capability and the understanding to walk in his ways. Even if we don't think we're making the right decision, who's to say, you know, our ways are not his ways. And so maybe the way we're walking is not, like, comprehensible to us. But to God, it's the right way. Because he orders our steps. So all that's to say, put it down in faith. Like, just keep putting it down. And I know it's hard to, like, to just leave it alone and let it be. But sometimes we got to just remind ourselves who God is. Because for me throughout this whole journey and process of like moving and transitioning and getting things in order and getting a car and having the money and et cetera, et cetera, it's a lot. But I have to re-remind myself who God is and what he says in his word. Because all of that, a lot of that has to deal with a lack of trust and a lack of um, reliance on God as our source. We have all these other outlets and um, resources, but God is our source. And he he was he's a provider, and we have to know that we have to know that for ourselves. It's not enough to just say it like he's gonna provide. 
Because sometimes our mind doesn't think that. When we think and we look at the outside, um, what our circumstance is and what we may be feeling, but that's not faith. Faith does not rely on any of those things. It does not rely on our feelings. It does not rely on what our environment looks like or our circumstance. It does not rely on the physical. So put it down in faith. Your girl got pre-approved for the loan. And I know that God is with me because he's on the throne. Hey, hey, hey. Um, money is not a problem with God because he takes care of it. And he's going to provide a way for the rest. And why do I worry? I know. What I need. Y'all, God provided a way. Keys to the new car. It's all praise to God. It was a stressful experience, but I had to humble myself and allow help and ask for help and listen. And it's crazy. But God is faithful. I don't know where the rest of this money is coming from but i'm trusting god i have to just trust him because i don't have it he's provided the way like he's providing the way and i just gotta follow and it's scary but he will provide the way and i just gotta keep walking in faith i'm leaving maryland to go to california this is my journey stay tuned in hey you guys i made my first stop um I believe I'm still in Virginia. So, um, yeah. I have about three more hours until I get to Tennessee. So, I'm just going to keep driving. Good morning, you guys. I am in Tennessee. I got here last night. It was such a journey. I pushed myself beyond, um, what I intended to drive, which was initially five or seven hours. And then I ended up doing 10 and a half, 11 hours. Today, I'm gonna just pace myself, take breaks and try because I'm rushing to get there. I, I just wanna get towards my promised land and it's a lot of anticipation, but I'm giving myself, today I'm just giving myself grace and not pushing myself too hard because I want to get there but uh, my next stop is Texas and I am on the way it is currently 6 39 I got up early um, did what I needed to do and now I'm on the way so catch you guys soon look at God look at God on my way to my new destination <laughs> guys so i'm in arkansas i stopped for gas and i'm gonna be more intentional with stopping and breaking so i can get through this 10 hour drive that i have left i got a cute keychain that says arkansas <laughs> so i'll be on my way i'm gonna give myself some time before i pull off and then Back on the road. Guys, I made it to Texas. So, I don't know where I'm stopping in Texas, but I'm excited for the journey. Like, I'm almost there, so close. And I'm just taking a break outside because I need to just embrace in the atmosphere of being in a new place. Oh, Jesus only got me here, like by his grace. Hey you guys, back with kind of an update. I'm kind of just on the side of the road. I took a break because I'm exhausted. And I just need some stillness. like even 
Even when we can't feel it and even when we can't see it, he is working. I feel exhausted. I feel a mix of emotions. But God is just giving me the grace to continue into it. Still have faith. I have a lot of emotions. I'm tired, but God is doing a work that cannot be undone. So, keep you guys updated. I am currently in Texas, if I didn't say. Um, yeah, still in Texas. Don't know what part. I'm just driving. So, thank God. Ugh. Well, back to the grind. Hey you guys, um, I'm still in Texas. I think it's Sweetwater, Texas or something. I don't know. I got here, it's, I think like eight something. Um, I'm tired. I'm excited about tomorrow even. I don't know what it will entail, but just excited to be closer to the promised land and just kind of release everything um, that I've been holding and kind of just trust God through this entire process. Um, yeah. I feel just, I feel like I'm holding on by a thread. But at the same time, climbing up that thread. But I gotta keep going even if I feel like a mix of worry, a mix of doubt, a mix of but his word stands so holding on to that and that's all I have for right now but I'll see you guys later. Hey you guys, um I'm up. It is currently 5.55. I'm trying to get some homework done before I get on the road. And they have breakfast here at 6, so I'll take advantage of that. And today is today. I don't know how I feel. It's like a mix of emotions. But God is good. And he has seen me this far, and he won't leave me. Um, so... One step closer. I'm like really tired, but no, I'm not tired. I'm tired, but I'm awake. But I'm, I'm here. I'm here for it. So I'll talk to you guys soon. All right, I got my Red Bull. This time I got the peach nectarine flavor. It's pretty good. Yesterday I had a strawberry apricot. I think I like this one the best all right i'm really on the road and let's go california here we come guys i'm still in texas i stopped cleaned off my car kind of just chilling and i'm here i got i got associates for recommendation of my best friend um i saw it i'm gonna keep driving and push through I have 11 more hours and that's that.
so we'll see i'm here and taking the opportunity to just go 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 <laughs> i can't believe it this is crazy so i feel tired i don't even want to drive anymore I don't know if it's all the energy drinks or I don't know. I feel jittery. I feel. God is doing a work. I can't stop now. I can't stop. I've come too far. I can't stop. I gotta keep pushing. Like. I don't know for words. I don't even know. I don't even know. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. So close. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Oh. I gotta do some jumping jacks or something. Like, gotta get myself together. I can do it. Ah. so i'm in new mexico yeah i'm about to take a like 20 30 minute nap i got some sleep gummies hopefully that helps i just need to rest for a couple minutes and then i'm back on the road i also have no service so i don't even know if i'm driving the right way but i'm trusting god through this process and i mean they offer to pay for wi-fi here so i might do that but yeah that's that. So, talk to you guys soon. Welcome to Arizona. We made it to California. I make this up. My phone, my connection, my service cellular data is not working at all i have to literally connect on wi-fi to get any type of like cellular signal and nothing is going through i had to go to walmart i went all the way to the airbnb and i thought i would have like cellular data i thought it was because i was like in the the mountains and the desert that i didn't have service but it just kept going through no service so i drove all the way to the airbnb and I didn't know the, di like, I had the direction, but I didn't know, like, the code for the Airbnb, so I couldn't get in. I had to drive all the way to Walmart to connect on the Wi-Fi to then get the code, so now I have to drive back. So, hopefully, I mean, God is with me, but it's just been a long night, and I'm tired. <sighs> I don't know what's going on, but God's plan. God's playing. God's working it out in my favor. He works all things out together for my good. So I'm here. I made it to the Airbnb. Um, I still have no signal service. I think it's for a reason. I'm done for today. I'm just going to sleep. And whatever happens, happens. Because I'm done. I'm done. I'm just done. I don't have nothing else. Hey, you guys. <clears throat> yesterday was so rough I so once I got to Texas I was like so close to New Mexico I feel like maybe two hours um, and then I was in New Mexico 
Once I got into New Mexico, my service just went blank. No service at all. Um, like for the whole trip. So I thought it was just because I was driving through the desert and like mountains and stuff that my service wasn't working. So once I got into New Mexico, my ways and my like maps had went off. So I kind of was just driving and then I pulled over at a, a rest stop. And then I was like, oh, let me just use my car GPS. It's smart. So then I was on the road for like the whole rest of the ride. There was no service. Um, my phone just didn't work and it's still not working. So I probably had to go to T-Mobile and like I tried to take the SIM card out. I tried um, restarting my phone and nothing. And it's just, <laughs> it's something. Um, and I feel like it's for a reason, but also teaching me not to rely on people and looking to them first for my um, help and my support, but leaning on God through this whole process. It's been that, and I'm tired. I slept good. Um, I just woke up early. Um, I don't know what to do with myself. I'm here, and I feel overwhelmed because I'm like, I feel like disconnected and not in place and a mix of other emotions <sighs> that's what I woke up with um I don't know what I'm gonna do today I have to get some stuff done for my onboarding for work so get my phone fixed and etc so I can do that because I have no service praise god though i made it safely out of a roof over my head and my car works and everything is fine so i have to keep pushing i don't know what's going on but i'm here i'm not as excited as i thought i would be or maybe it's just because all this is still sinking in but I'm here and I'm trying to get my mind and my heart ready before I like just go. So, check in with you guys later.